show you how to invent your own clock. So this is the Micronta the Micronta 1224 hours clock. Catalog number 63765 electronic LED clock. And it has these various buttons to set the alarm, it has a snooze and all that great stuff. Uh, this is an old clock. So let me turn it off and power it. So we're going to invent a clock. Now, I have no problem with what the kid did. All good engineers start off by taking things apart. I took apart my parents' tape recorder, cassette deck, eight track player. It's what, it's what little future engineers do. But to think that this thing was a bomb was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think the kid's great. I'm really happy for him. He's getting a lot of good attention. But I think the school's completely overreacted because this is obviously not a bomb. Not even close to a bomb. To even call it a bomb hoax was ridiculous. Pulling out all the little screws. And I picked this up on eBay the other day. Familiar? I think I could put this up in a pencil case. kid shows up to school with a handful of electronics, I think what you ought to do is you ought to really encourage them. I think what they should have done is they should have said, oh, wow, you know, you got a disposition for this sort of thing. Let me show you how you can build your own clock using like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, you know, a Beagle Ball and something like that. And take advantage of the, you know, reinforce the kid's natural um, interest. Instead of hauling them down to the principal's office, calling the cops, it's completely on fire. Alright, so now, so now, and that is his clock. So, it even comes with these little holes. You could mount it into the little pencil box like you had. This circuit board you'll see is very, very similar. Still has the same ribbon connector. This guy, the transformer, the AC plug, a little speaker for the alarm, and then the, uh, the, the DC connection. Yep, just like he said, it's a clock, not a bomb.